Oh, Robert said that he was getting something from Beaver. Not that he was getting another beaver. Whew. Podge, Podge. I like your beaver. I really like your beaver. Ah, uh, come on, Harry. You haven't put it together yet. Sorry, Robert. I thought you were going to replace me. What? Uh, uh, two beavers is not something I fantasize about. However, two grinders? That's something I'd love to have. Well, I guess you're in luck. Beaver sent you an 8-inch variable speed bench grinder with a 5.0 amp brushless motor. It's got a variable speed of 1800 to around 3800 RPM. Yep, and it's got a 36 grit and an 80 grit aluminum oxide wheel. So I can really grind away some material. Hmm, well, when it spins, you can see there's a bit of run out. I don't know if that's due to the grinder or something about these wheels. Or maybe it's just installed incorrectly. It needs to be balanced. Yeah, it's good enough to sharpen my teeth on. Well, this thing came with some pretty good guards, and it's got a nifty little LED battery light. However, like most grinders, if you're going to use it for wood turning, you got to get some bigger platforms. These things are small, and one of them's got this weird angle thing on it. Apparently it's for sharpening drill bits. Well, that's nice. There's a mouse trough. That's for water, Harry. To cool your tools. Oh, that makes more sense. All right, turn her on. Let's see how she vibrates. Well, it takes a little while to get it fully up to speed, but not too bad. And it's really quiet. Well, I've got just the tool to test out on this grinder. Ooh, a Glazer V15 bull gouge. Nice. Where'd you get that? I got it on a Facebook auction, Harry, and with five other tools for, like, around a hundred bucks. The guy didn't know what he had. I guess they didn't really know how to sharpen either. Yeah, it needs some TLC. So let's go ahead and give it to it and put a 40-40 grind on here. First, we'll use this Stuart Batty jig to set the angle platform to 40 degrees. The next step will be to grind the tool upside down to get a clean 40 degree angle on what will become the cutting edge. No, I don't think that tool rest is supposed to rock like that, Robert. Yeah, I definitely recommend new platforms for this thing. Well, let's see how quick this 80 grit wheel removes some metal. You just gently touch it and go back and forth, side to side. Okay, let me make a note of that. Rub the tip of the tool on the beaver. Nice and slow to start. Sounds right. It's all flat, you want to remove the outside metal and be left with the 40 degree cutting edge on the inside. The protractor is set to 40 degrees, so we'll mark some lines on the platform. Now we'll just repeat on the other side. Now you'll want to align your tool parallel to those lines and grind a 40 degree angle when you're removing the material. And go back and forth like so. And then just repeat on the other side. You'll want to make sure to keep the tool flat on the platform. Once you're done shaping both sides, you'll want to roll and twist the tool handle around to get the tip of the tool. That's the most tricky part. Okay, okay, enough already. Let's get started. Oh, 
All right, that was quick. Let's take a look. As you can see, about half the metal's been removed. So now we just got to keep going and get to the cutting edge. I'm in a bigger platform. We'll try to make that easier. And of course, when you have to resharpen your 40-40 grind, it only takes one or two passes. This is just taking so long because I'm reshaping the whole tool. And there we have it, a 40-40 bowl gouge. Remember, you can only put a 40-40 grind on a V-shaped bowl gouge or an elliptical bowl gouge. A U-shaped bowl gouge doesn't work very well. Now the fun part, let's test it out. Well, Robert, what's your thoughts on how the tool cuts? Well, the grinder definitely put an edge on it, and it's cutting pretty well. However, if you're going to get this grinder for wood turning, you definitely need to get a different platform system. Well, there's a link in the description below, and a coupon code to save 5% on your purchase. So you can use the money you save for a platform system. 